Well, howdy, folks, and welcome to another episode of everybody's favorite Bigfoot game show, Celebrity Sasquatch. I'm your host, Knife Winkleman, and I hope you brought your swimsuits, because tonight we're going straight off the diving board into an Olympic-sized Bigfoot gene pool, where you'll be accompanied by several of your most beloved celebrities. If you're ready, let's get it on! Our first contestant comes to us from the deepest marshes of Louisiana. He spends most of his time digging up clams and eating roadside pizza, which he claims is a Nutra rat ran over by a truck several times and baking out in the sun all day. In his free time, he enjoys scaring the bejesus out of tourists and gator hunters. Let's give a warm welcome to Cletus! Howdy, Cletus, how the heck are ya? Uh, howdy, guys. Thanks for having me out, man. Yeah, I'm doing okay. Breaking my back, putting food on the table. You know how it goes when you got 84 kids. <laughs> Indeed I do, Cletus. I haven't always been a successful game show host. In fact, I spent 20 years making YouTube videos for free before I finally got my big break. Enough chit-chat. You've got 10 seconds to tell me which celebrity is a close cousin of old Cletus here. was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actor in 1991 for his role in Prince of Tides. He is most remembered for playing Jack Cates, alongside of Eddie Murphy in 48 Hours. Okay, yes, yes, you guessed it, it's Nick Nolte! Cletus gets stopped out in the woods almost every day by another booger, one Nick Nolte's autograph, and Cletus has gotten to the point where he just signs a rock and leaves them thinking they just met a rock star. Ha <laughs> ha, Cletus! You've won a free trip for two to beautiful Banff, Canada, where you and your missus can frolic all day long in the woods and chow down on one of North America's largest and healthiest elk herds. What do you think, Cletus? Oh, hell yes. Thank you, Knife. I can't wait. But you'll have to give us some time to grow our coats out. It's a little chilly up there. Ha <laughs> ha. You know how it is. All right. Well, I've got relatives up there. I can't wait to go. Thank you. Oh, hell, you're welcome, Cletus. Thanks for coming on. And if you'll follow Miss Vanna there, she'll show you off the stage. And make sure you give her a bite of that roadside pizza on the way out, okay? <laughs> all right, that brings us to our next contestant, all the way from Upper New York State. Welcome, Krelk. Well, how's life treating you? Hey, what's up, Knife? Thanks for having me on. When I fight someone, I want to break his will. I want to take his manhood, and I want to rip his heart out and show it to him. Great, great, Krelk. Let's all take a nice hard look into Krelk and tell me who do you think he resembles? Come on, you can see it. Look deep into his eyes. Yes, yes, it's coming. It's coming, all right. Here's your clue. He once bit part of another man's ear off. That's right, if you guessed Iron Mike Tyson, you are absolutely right! Who even in his prime would be no match here for Krupp, who could probably make mincemeat out of any human who ever put on a pair of boxing gloves. Thank you, Krupp. Then I will take you backstage where you'll be receiving your prizes. Next up, from New Mexico, we've got a Sasquatch who prefers habaneros to huckleberries. I introduce to you, Fabricio! Welcome to the show. How have we been treating you out here in Brentwood? Hola, no habla inglés, Holmes. Oh, I guess uh, Fabricio doesn't speak any English, but uh, let's take a long, hard look at Fabricio here. I'm sure that won't be too difficult for all the ladies out there. Tell me, who could Fabricio double for here in Hollywood on his next picture? Clue. In 1998, he played the role of Zorro and for many years was married to famous actress Melanie Griffith. That's absolutely right. You guessed it. Antonio Banderas. Excellent job, Fabricio. In fact, you've won today's grand prize, a trip for two to beautiful Cleveland, Ohio, where you'll be attending the Grass Band Festival featuring the music of Thrash Squatch, where you can spend two days owning the humans in the slam pit. All right, Fabricio. Fantastic job. 
Next up, from the Bitterroot Valley in western Montana, welcome, please, Gavin. Uh, Gavin loves to snag grizzlies around and has even once been seen hucking a ghetto blaster over three quarters of a mile just because he hates disco music. As you peer deep into Gavin's piercing black eyes, tell me, who does he remind you of most? Your clue. He once topped the charts with a cover of the Michael Jackson song, Beat It. Gavin is the doppelganger for Weird Al Yankovic. Thanks for coming in, Gavin, and God bless you, buddy. We have some terrific parting gifts for you, including a full body waxing at Fantastic Sam's. And now, before we break for commercial, who can tell me which actor is a spitting image for this distinguished baby? We'll have the answer for you when we return. Hey, we are back. Thanks for sticking with us, folks. And before the break, we asked, who was the spitting image of this distinguished baby? If you guessed the dude from NYPD Blue, you're absolutely right. <laughs> boy, oh boy, that sure was an adorable baby, huh? Just such a cute kid. All right, let's bring up our next contestant. From Eastern Texas, welcome, please, Larry! Larry, welcome to Celebrity Sasquatch. How was your flight? What, knife? You mean to tell me they didn't tell you? I went berserk on the plane, and they shot me with a tranquilizer dart. That pissed me off so bad I ended up punching a hole in the side of the plane, and we had to make an emergency landing after which several passengers were hospitalized for multiple injuries. Uh, no, Larry, that wasn't brought to my attention. Obviously, our producer isn't screening our contestants very well these days, but hell, since we got you here, let's go ahead and play the game. All right. Who would you say Larry resembles most here in Hollywood? Come on, it's not a tough one. Here's your clue. He played Terrence Mann on the motion picture Field of Dreams and is famous for the voice of Darth Vader. You got it. It's James Earl Jones. Thank you, Larry. We appreciate you coming out. Security will show you to the door where we've got a limo awaiting your ride back to Texas. All right. It's that time of the show where we select a random contestant from our audience, and you guess which celebrity he most resembles. Would Mr. Twitch Perkins come on down? Hello. Are you Twitch Perkins? <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm Twitch. That's the name they gave me. Holy smoke, I can't believe I made it. All right, who can tell me who we think Twitch could pass off for here in a look-alike contest? <laughs> hmm. He was once known to pull his shirt up over his head and call himself Cornholio. Absolutely correct. The answer is Beavis from the MTV show Beavis and Butthead. Sorry, Twitch. They guessed you out pretty quick there. Looks like we still got some party gifts for you, though. Okay. Uh, thanks, Twitch, I guess. Uh, it looks like security's going to go ahead and escort you backstage there, Twitch. His van is over there shaking her head frantically. No way. <laughs> but don't be disappointed there, Twitch. You'll be parting us with a one-week pass to the Betty Ford Rehab Clinic. <laughs> All right, Twitch. Thanks for playing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to go ahead and take a quick break, but don't go away. We'll be back in two and two. All right, we are back. Welcome back, folks. I'd like everybody to put their hands together for our three new contestants, Carol, Biff, and Jockwiz. All right, and it's that time of the game for Speed Round. Here at Speed Round, we flash you a Sasquatch, and you've got about ten seconds to ring your buzzer. Mm -hmm. the wrong Sasquatch, your opponent has an opportunity to steal. Everybody ready? 
All right, here's your first booger. Clue. He's famous for his role in the classic chick flick, Footloose. Kevin Bacon! That's right! Kevin Bacon is absolutely correct. You've just won yourself $4,000, Carol. Fantastic job. All right, let's see our next Sasquatch. Here's your clue. She was nominated for an Academy Award for her role in Sister Nun. Well, it's not Sister Nun, you idiot! Oh, wait, did I say Sister Nun? I meant the color purple. Poopy Goldberger! Judges, can we accept that? I guess we can accept Poopy Goldberger! It's Whoopi Goldberg! Fantastic job there, Jockwiz! You've just won yourself $20,000! All right, next Sasquatch, please. Okay, for $20,000, he began his career as a childhood actor and acted right alongside of a giant grizzly bear. BJ and the Bear! That's not correct. Uh, you can go ahead and steal if you want, folks. Anybody else know the answer to this one? Clue number two. His brother also began a childhood acting career as a child named Opie. Clint Eastwood! No, I'm sorry, that's not right. It's not Clint Eastwood. It's a Clint. It's Clint Howard. I'm sorry, you geniuses. But uh, you've all seems to have lost your entire dollar amounts. You're all back down to zero. Thank goodness we're now going to move into the Celebrity Sasquatch Super Triple Double Mega Bonus Round. In this round, each Sasquatch is worth $10,000, and whoever buzzes in first gets the first guess. All right, Vanna, go ahead and show us our first Sasquatch. Oh, Lord, it's anybody's guess. Who have we got here? Clue. He did a series of oatmeal commercials for Quaker Oats. Wilfred Brimley! You got it! It's Wilfred Brimley! That's absolutely correct! $20,000 to you, Biff! Alright! Next Sasquatch, please! Clue. He was the lead singer in the band that sung the song, Walk This Way. Run DMC! No, the answer's not Run DMC. It's Steven Tyler. All right, next Sasquatch, please. Boy, if I had to guess on this one, I'd say it's Jerry Mathers. Clue. He played Elias in Oliver Stone's Platoon. No takers, huh? The answer is Willem Dafoe. Nobody got that one. All right, next Sasquatch, please. Clue. Played the man of the house on the classic Beverly Hillbillies show. Buddy Epson! That's right, it's Buddy Epson! Great job, Carol! That's 20,000 to you, alright! Okay, our next Sasquatch played for the Boston Red Sox, where he led the league in homers back in 2006 and also won the MVP of the World Series in 2013. If you guessed Big Poppy, David Ortiz, you're absolutely right! Fantastic job there, Biff! Oh no! You know what that means, contestants! Drop everything! It's the two-minute warning where we sling you a series of ten Sasquatch pictures and you need to name all ten within two minutes. All right, let's see what we can do here, folks. Vanna, let's see those skunk apes.
Okay, drop your pins, folks. I'm afraid that's all the time we have. Looks like you have some pretty lengthy lists there. Let's take a look and see if anybody wins the $100,000. Carol's got Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, Carmen Electra, David Bonaducci, Gene Simmons, Jessica Alba, Mark Hamill, Chuck Norris, Vin Diesel, and Anne Hathaway. Oh, she's just one off. I'm afraid you got Mark Hamill when you needed Leonardo DiCaprio. Sorry there, Carol. All right, Biff, he's got Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, Carmen Electra, Danny Bonaducci, Gene Simmons, Jessica Alba, Eric Stoltz, Leonardo DiCaprio, Vin Diesel, and Anne Hathaway. Uh, it looks like you got 11 written down here. You need to pick between Leonardo DiCaprio and Eric Stoltz. Who do you pick there? Uh, it's Eric Stoltz. Nope, you're wrong. Sorry there, Biff. Oh, so close. All right, Jacquez has Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, Carmen Electra, Danny Bonaducci, Gene Simmons, Jessica Alba, Leonardo DiCaprio, Chuck Norris, Billy D. Williams, and Anne Hathaway. Oh, Jacquez. <laughs> Billy D. Williams. No, that's Vin Diesel. Oh, better luck next time, folks. All right, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Until next time, this is Knife Winkleman wishing you all champagne, Sasquatch, and caviar. Watch.